Somebody right now is losing sleep. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by on this video. I hope you guys have been living life to the fullest, enjoying the month of June as it comes to a close, June 2024. Stay up, everybody, and let's get into this video. You could have somebody right now in your life who is not able to sleep. They're tossing and turning. They're having trouble staying asleep. They're, they're feeling disturbed. They feel uncomfortable. Something is weighing on their spirit. When people come for you and when people try to attack you, when people target you, they're not going to have that peaceful life that they think they're going to have. It just doesn't work like that. When you come for people, when you attack people, you don't get a restful life. You don't get a peaceful life. You get the opposite. You're going to have a restless night, restless, restless nights in general. You're not going to be able to enjoy life. You're not going to be able to feel comfortable because you're trying to make other people feel uncomfortable. So those around you who have tried to disrupt your life or interfere with your reasonable enjoyment of life are not getting no type of sleep. No, no, no way. No way. And then that's why these people oftentimes they'll stay up late at night when they're tossing and turning and they'll look on your socials They'll loathe, they'll get mad, they'll start seething over you or whoever it is that they're upset with. And this is a continuous cycle, a toxic cycle that continues to deteriorate their state of mind and deteriorate, deteriorate the way their life is going because they did all of this negative stuff and now it's coming back to bite them and they feel the weight of that tenfold. What they did to you is not compared to what's happening to them, what they're going through now. They might be even experiencing physiological changes within their body, within the way their body runs, because they have tried to disrupt you. And if we know anything about stress, and if we know anything about hurt and pain, it could totally manifest in the body. It could totally destroy how we operate on a day-to-day -day basis. So if people have been causing you high amounts of stress, and it seems like they've always been attacking you, targeting you, making your life a living nightmare when all you're trying to do is go up. You may have felt that stress. You may have shown symptoms of anxiety, feeling uncomfortable, can't eat. You probably couldn't even sleep well or maybe sometimes sleeping too much or more than what is normal for you. Eating too much, eating less. That's the crazy thing, you know, it's that. People will now not be able to function the way that they normally would function because all they've been doing during their wakeful hours is trying to attack a real one, trying to come for somebody who minds their business. And I could speak for myself when I do have anxiety, when I do feel anxious, when I do, when I'm in a problem that's very, very trying, I'm the type of person who doesn't have the best appetite, you know, kind of feeling gloomy, you know, until I get back on track and, you know, mitigate the situation in the best ways that I know how, you know, so that's how these sort of situations normally affect me. I don't really feel like eating very much, you know, you just kind of feel like, ah, oh, you know, this is really a bummer here, right? So everybody gets affected differently, you know, sometimes your sleep can be limited and disturbed. Of course, if you're the victim and you are constantly being targeted by people around you, right? People who just cannot seem to leave you alone. People who seem like they, you have like a mark on you that it's like they want to get you as their target. You may feel that weight, that pressure. And once again, physiological symptoms within your body that shows that your body's kind of like running on low. Your brain is running on low. It happens. So you can only imagine the perpetrator is not having the greatest time because if we feel what they're doing to us, they feel it 10 times worse because they manufactured it. They started this. They created this. So they feel it because they cannot get away with what they've done. And especially if it's been continuous over a long stretch of time, you can only imagine it's like crippling for these individuals. So somebody that you know who has targeted you in your life, either lately, years ago, months ago, weeks ago, it could be currently right now as we speak, they're not getting no types of sleep. And not only sleep, but once again, they're not able to function 
as they normally would function because of the stress and anxiety they have caused. And unfortunately, when the perpetrators decide to try to get at somebody, they are the ones who now feel the wrath of what they've manufactured. You know, they could have just left you alone and let you do what you do. Let you do what you do best. That's why they t attacked you in the first place, most likely, because they don't like how you do what you do best. You know, they start feeling the weight of their bad deeds. The things that they've done are starting to come back to them. They can't escape what they've perpetrated. They have to deal with what that means. Th this was an easy solution. Just leave us alone. It's always the times I'm working on myself and doing my thing is when people come out in full force trying to get at me and trying to put me in all types of crazy issues because their lives are so miserable. And I could see it on their face. I know that's why they use me as a punching bag and a target. But I hold my head high and I believe in God. And I know that, you know, the situation will turn around in the best way, even if that means I'm suffering some losses along the way or having to go without, or having to do whatever I have to do. As long as I have my peace, man, I'm good. That's all I really care about in this world is my family and my peace, you know, and really trying to elevate, you know, keep afloat, stay afloat, go as high as I can, because that is my calling. And so when anybody tries to disrupt me, yes, there's been sleepless nights for me where I've not been able to sleep well because of extenuating factors, you know, circumstances happening in my world that really disrupt my day-to-day -day life. You can only imagine what I think of my perpetrators. I know my perpetrators are not happy right now. They're not sleeping, just like we're all not sleeping. You know, because if you're going to attack me, you're going to feel what you've done. You're going to feel because it's that conscious that you have. You know, the perpetrators, they all have a conscience, right? I mean, some, I mean, <laughs> we may, <laughs> we may beg to differ that, oh, because of the things that they do, especially if it's very evil, very cruel, we may think, okay, they lack a conscience. And of course, some people truly, truly do. But I think for the most part, these individuals know darn well what exactly they're doing here. You know, and because of that, they will suffer what they do to us. They will not escape it. We may think, I used to think that too, like these people are just getting away with this. You know, these people are just, oh my gosh, these people are, can attack me and then get away with it and live a normal life, seemingly. That's not the case. I know that they are not sleeping well. They're not having a good life. They're not having fun. They're not having a peaceful, restful life because they tried to disrupt my peace and my sleep and my well-being. And if there's one thing about me, I want you guys to know on the Mindset Elevator, I value peace more than anything in this world. You know, I wish there could be world peace. And I believe that is truly wishful thinking, you know, but on a lower scale, on a lower scale, I like to have peace in my life, you know, and I do pray for humanity to have peace. And when people try to disrupt the peace, there's consequences for that. There's even criminal acts that people commit. If you try to disrupt the peace, you can get, you can get booked for that. You know what I mean? Like there's certain things people should not do. Right. So one thing about me is that I really enjoy and love and, and really protect and hone on to my peace. I could be lacking in everything else. And that's all right, because if I have a peace of mind, I, I know I'm elevating. It may not be at an expeditious rate, but I know I'm on the right path and I could breathe easy and I could eat well and I could sleep well and I could wake up, drink my water, do my exercises. You know what I mean? Play football, play sports, all the things that I like to do. I get to do what I love to do on the planet because I have my peace. When I don't have my peace, I cannot do these things the way that I want to do because it disrupts my life. And so I can only imagine the perpetrators, you know, who, who have decided to take that route to target they're not having a peaceful life we may think oh they took the peace from us now they have it for themselves no they're suffering worse than we are we get we we know who's innocent you know the innocent are always revealed the guilty parties are always revealed and you get handed whatever comes with that you know what i mean so there could be folks in your corner right now who took the unfortunate decision, made the unfortunate call to hurt you, to disrupt your life, to interfere with the reasonable enjoyment of your life to the point where 
they can't sleep. You know what I mean? It's not just us who suffered symptoms and chaos. They can't sleep. They're tossing and turning right now. Eventually, we get out of our slumps, though, don't we? We say, hey, tomorrow's a better day. Tomorrow's a better day. Next week is coming. Next month is coming. I got a lot of things to do. Last month was crazy. Last week was crazy. You know, a few days ago, oh man, that was that was just a nightmare. But I know there's always tomorrow. There's always another week. And the people who are not right up here, they're not looking at life. They don't get to see life in that way until they make drastic changes for the better. So we know we'll get out of our slump. That's why we always rise, right? But the perpetrators are the ones that cannot sleep. We could pray for them, pray that they get some sleep, but they can only get sleep when their mind, their conscience is clear. And they clear their conscience by ma making better choices and doing better things on the planet and not targeting people because of their personal woes and because they feel like they're lacking in life and they just hate everybody who has a, a, a life that has peace. You know, they have to stop trying to target people and start thinking about going in inside, you know, going inwards to what they got to heal, because a lot of times it is what's within that is troubling an individual, you know, and the perpetrators will go outwards and attack other people around them to feel better about themselves. But it's only a sensation, you know, so we will rise. Let's pray for them that they will, too. But it's going to take something. It's going to take uh, sometimes a miracle for a lot of these people, dark-minded people, to really get out of that slump after they try to disrupt our sleep, our life, our year, everything they tried to screw up. They had better hope and do the work to get back on track. And we stay moving forward, everybody. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I like to keep it real here, very candid on the Mindset Elevator. Let it be known if you feel that this video resonates with you. I wanna thank you guys so very much for supporting the Mindset Elevator. A lot more great content is to come within the next few weeks and months. So please stay tuned. I wanna say once again, my extreme gratitude to your generosity here on the Mindset Elevator. You guys are the reason. The only reason why this channel has grown to the rate that it has, the way that it has. So I thank you guys so much. Stay up and keep boogieing, keep dancing, keep laughing, keep smiling, maintain that peace and get some rest. <laughs>